What is up? Everybody, welcome back to the Burn Down YouTube channel. We are still on the 480E transmission. Uh, we are making decent progress. We're moving along. The last video I showed you, I got the stack in. I've had it in and out several times, but we checked the end play and we are good to go from my house. So that is in. So the next step is to start assembling the rest of these parts and pieces. I've already gone through and cleaned uh, everything, so they should be rock and roll and good to go. Uh, obviously, we need to put a little fluid on these bands or these uh, clutches and things, but uh, everything on the table has been taken apart, cleaned, gone through, uh, air checked. So I feel confident on all these parts. Now it's just a matter of assembly. So I'm going to see what I can do as far as stumbling through. I can bring you along when we kind of air check the different sections. Uh, I watched a little video last night uh, and then this afternoon a little bit to get familiar with it before we had a go around on it but we'll get started uh, we'll bring you guys along and that is that so i'm hoping we can check the the actual end play from the pump side instead of the rear end play uh check the the end play on the top because that would be killer so so i just got done installing the forward drum and uh this guy this thing kind of stinks, man. It was it was fine me. I had to get after it uh, quite a bit and wiggle it and, and move it, but I used the t-shirt so I could grab the gears with both hands and then wiggle it back and forth and kind of move it up and down just like a little bit. And it ended up sinking in. Oh, some of my freaking sweat, dude. Um, don't want to get that in there, huh? It ended up sinking in, um, but it took some effort. So... We will keep rolling, but yeah, that's where I made it to uh, so far. And then there was one. Bam! So, uh, we're doing pretty well. Got this in here. All of that is in there. We've got our bolts locating everything. Fluid, bands, clips, you name it. As far as I'm concerned, that um, should be good to go. And now we got this guy. Ryan saved me a ton and a half of time. He put all new bushing seals, everything. So this thing is rock and roll. So that is killer. Thank you again, uh, my man on that. So let me figure out how to check end play. Not sure if I want to put the gasket down uh, or not. So I will double check that because that gasket is very fragile. So I don't want to put it in there and start screwing with stuff and rip it and screw myself because I don't think I have another one of those. So let me triple double check. And hopefully I can bring you back when we're checking end play and we're in the ballpark is what i'm really hoping for so wah 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 so i believe we failed because the book this one's a little funky it has a note right here right so it says to pull up on the turbine shaft which is the center one this is your stator it says there may be some play in the turbine shaft between the snap ring and the overdrive carrier this play must be subtracted from the end play reading to obtain obtain for proper transmission and play reading proper transmission reading is 4,000 to 22,000 so let me show you guys what we're working with i got this thing zeroed out pretty well this is the turbo shaft if i just grab this dog and give it a heave ho bam 30 thousands right give or take yeah yeah about 30 so there's like a sweet spot where you can kind of pick it up and then you measure the end play from that. But even when I do that, the swing, we're at the top end of that range. So I, I don't think that that's good. I'm going to call it a loss. So uh, it is Tuesday. We're not going to rush. I was able to put the stack together. So I'm excited about that. And looking at it, and I know enough, I mean, I'd really like to be done with this portion, but we're going to do our due diligence, and I believe my boys over at War, I think these are the shims. See, the package is unopened. These, this is a shim kit, front to rear end play, a 10 bagger. So we got a bunch of dogs in there. And I think that I have to actually pull a bunch of stuff back out in order to uh, clean that up. So I'm going to do my homework on it. I don't know how to adjust that as of this moment. I was really hoping that we were going to be in the ballpark. If we were in the middle of that range on the 4 to 22, I believe it was. Yeah, 4 to 22. If we we're in the middle of that, like a 10 or a 12, I go, hey, dude, this is government work. We're rock and roll. But having that swing, I just don't like it. And if I find like the sweet spot and then I pick up on it, 
I was measuring it, we're at the top end of that range. So I think that's actually where it is. So technically you might be able to run this, but I don't want to rush it. It's not, it. if I say it's okay now, when this thing breaks down the middle of nowhere or you know something happens with it, I'm gonna have like these nightmare flashbacks and go, man, I should have just taken a little bit more time. So uh, time is precious. We are running out of it, but I want to do it properly. So sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. We've been doing pretty well so far though. I do have to say, putting the whole stack together, getting this far, you know, following the book, listen to the video. Uh, I feel a lot better about my achievement. Although, we have to take it all apart because I think those washers are like way deep in the stack. So, until next time, we'll take it apart and then I'll show you guys when we measure it properly. And um, what I'll do is I'll show you where those end up going. So, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.